up guys, we're here in Porto. We just finished a month trip all around mainland Portugal. In this video, we're gonna show you the best places to visit. Everything from the best cities to the best landscapes and everything in between. I hope you enjoy this video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Portugal is a small country located in southwestern Europe. The mainland is bordered to the west and the south by the Atlantic Ocean, and to the north and east by Spain. With its mild climate, affordable prices, and range of activities, Portugal is the perfect travel destination. Portugal is home to diverse landscapes, ranging from lush mountains in the north to medieval towns in the center and even rocky beaches in the south. Add to that a superb cuisine, as well as a unique culture and history, you won't get bored exploring this country. In this video, we highlight 15 amazing places to visit on the mainland of Portugal. Nazaré is located along Portugal's Silver Coast, about halfway between Lisbon and Porto. Known for the highest surfable waves in the world, this authentic fishing town has grown into a popular tourist destination over the last decades. During the winter months, big wave surfers are drawn to its spectacular waves. But Nazaré is also a great summer destination, thanks to its golden beaches, beautiful scenery, and small relaxed vibes. You can do a short walk along the cliffs to get the best views of the city and the waves from above. Situated near Lisbon, Mafra is a traditional Portuguese town that is home to one of Europe's largest and most extravagant places, the National Palace of Mafra, which was built in the 18th century on the orders of the king. This vast complex covers an area of nearly 40,000 square meters and is worth visiting as a day trip. But it can also be easily combined with a hike at nearby Tapada de Mafra, a recreational space that was once used by the Portuguese royal family as a hunting ground. With its wide open beaches and sheer sea cliffs, the west coast of the Algarve is a true hidden gem in the south of Portugal. The entire region falls within the boundaries of a natural park, and you can follow a number of trails that showcase its wild scenery, both inland and along the coast. But it's also a great surfing destination, especially for beginners. From windy Sagres to the picturesque Algezur, you can find many incredible beaches. Serra de Monchique is a chain of mountains in the western Algarve region of Portugal. It's also a lesser known travel destination, characterized by pristine, lush nature and an authentic mountain town. The idyllic town of Monchique can easily be reached by road and is home to sweeping vistas and a network of nature trails. From here, you can go to the highest point in the Algarve, which is 902 meters. At the top of the mountain, you can fill your bottle with the freshest spring water. It's super tasty. Ericeira is a small beach town, located 50 kilometers from Lisbon. It's often referred to as the surfing capital of Europe, with surfers from all over the world heading to its golden sand and rocky beaches. But apart from its surf scene, Ericeira is also becoming increasingly popular among digital nomads and other travelers. This is thanks to its amazing sunsets, beautiful coastline, and relaxing vibes. You can learn all about it in our other video, all about the best things to do in Ericeira.
Arabida Natural Park lies to the south of Lisbon, between the towns of Setubal and Sesimbra. It's a protected area, and when you visit, you can see why. It has incomparable natural beauty, made up of white chalk cliffs that contrast with a deep blue sea and green vegetation. The best way to enjoy this park is by either relaxing at one of the sandy beaches or hiking one of the many trails which crisscross in the park. Our favorite trail started near the Bio Villa, which extended from up the valley and to the top of the mountain for some great views. We made it to a really beautiful viewpoint here in the Arabida Park. We'll put the map to this trail uh, on the screen for you, but there's a ton of beautiful hikes if you just search all trails. And yeah, have a great time. The historic town of Silvish is another great place to visit in Portugal. Situated in the southern Algarve, it was once the region's capital. In fact, during the Moorish era from the 9th to 12th century, Silvish had a great importance as a trading center. Today, Silvish is a peaceful and relaxed place, with many historic remnants of the past. Don't forget to visit the stunning Silvish Castle and its cobbled streets surrounding it. Located in central Portugal, Obidos is the finest example of a Portuguese walled town. It's fully encircled and has a Moorish castle at its center, making for a romantic medieval look. The town's main attraction is undoubtedly its cobbled historic center, filled with small cafes, shops, and whitewashed houses. Make sure to climb up the walls and loop around as you'll have astonishing views from up there. You can book a day tour from Lisbon to Obidos and Nazaré via the link in the description below. Located near the Spanish border in northern Portugal, Pineda Garres National Park is a two-hour drive from Porto. It's the oldest protected area and the only national park in the country, covering about 695 square kilometers. From authentic mountain villages to amazing landscapes with numerous viewpoints and waterfalls, this place is truly breathtaking. The park can be easily explored by car, but we recommend doing at least one hike to get the full experience of this place and its natural beauty. There's a great hike from the parking lot of Pedra Bella viewpoint to the Arado waterfall. The out and back trail is about eight kilometers and took us three and a half hours total to complete, including stops. So we are here at the Arada waterfall and we actually hiked down from the really beautiful viewpoint, which is called the Pedra Bella. So you should definitely check that out and then you can just continue your way down and get here. Lagos is the Western Algarve's liveliest port town and a true tourist hub. It's known for its vibrant, historic old town and a spectacular coastline, consisting of steep cliffs, hidden caves, and unique beaches. Make sure to hike along the cliff walls, but also see them up close from a kayak or boat tour. Watch our video all about Lagos to learn more about this idyllic town and the best things to do there. A destination you can't miss when traveling to Portugal is its capital city of Lisbon. Located in western Portugal on the estuary of the Tejo River, Lisbon is a vibrant city with a rich, turbulent history that can be observed in many of its iconic monuments and buildings. But besides that, Lisbon also has a buzzing nightlife, a delicious cuisine, and a wide variety of tourist attractions. 
check out our Lisbon video where we highlight 10 awesome things to do in this charming city. Undoubtedly one of the most scenic destinations in all of Portugal, Lagoa lies in the southern Algarve region. Home to majestic cliff-lined beaches, it's fun to explore this area from both land and water. It's an absolute must-do to hike the breathtaking Seven Hanging Valleys Trail, which boasts endless views of the Atlantic Ocean as well as limestone rock formations. But Benagil Cave is also something you can't miss. This seaside cave can only be reached by kayak or boat and is known as one of the most beautiful caves in the entire world. So we made it inside the Benagil Caves, and we definitely recommend taking the kayak or stand-up paddleboard if you can. So if you take a boat tour, you can't actually step inside them. And as you can see, once you step inside, it's pretty magical. The picturesque town of Sintra is located 30 kilometers to the west of Lisbon, in the center of Portugal. Combining ancient castles, extravagant palaces, and beautiful natural scenery, Sintra is a unique travel destination. Highlights include the gardens and mansion of Quinta de Reguilera, the towering castle of the Moors, and the vibrant Pena Palace. We have another video all about how to do a day trip to Sintra from Lisbon, including how to get there and how to get around. The Douro Wine Valley sits on the banks of the Douro River, upstream from Porto and almost to the border of Spain. This region is where the famous port wine is produced, and wine tastings are available at many of the wineries. But apart from wine tourism, the Douro Valley promises travelers some of Portugal's most idyllic natural landscapes. Explore the valley on a hike, take a boat cruise up the river, or take a peaceful train ride. Find more info about a boat cruise via the link in the description below and make sure to do an authentic port wine tasting while you're in the area. Categories. White, uh, the white category, the ruby category, and also the towny category. That white, for example, that white has this color because that is a white that passes long time in contact with oak. So the oak for a white wine, it will increase the color. And at the same time, it will give flavors. You can find a little bit of caramel. You can find the almonds or walnuts, for example, you can drink like an appetizer or with a nice dessert in the end. But that part you can choose because it depends on your personal taste. Located in northwest Portugal, along the Douro River, Porto is the second largest city in the country. This was our favorite city in all of Portugal for a good reason. Its culture, architecture, riverside profile, and hilly streets make for a great combo. One of the most beautiful parts of Porto is undoubtedly its riverside, with views of the water and the famous Dom Luís First Bridge. But Porto also has amazing local food options and delicious port wine that's unique to this area of Portugal. Learn more about this romantic city in our Porto video. And that's it for our video on mainland Portugal. There are of course other amazing destinations that we didn't mention that are definitely worth checking out in the country. For more information such as the best time to visit, check out our blog link in the description. Also make sure to check out our Portugal playlist, with other more specific videos about the best things to do in places mentioned throughout this video. We'll catch you on the next adventure.